Hey guys, Zuckling Power here, back with another Black Ops 3 video for you guys. Now, this one is slightly different because I'm going to be testing, as you guys can probably tell by the title, the most accurate, fully automatic guns in Black Ops 3. Now, obviously, it has to be fully automatic, otherwise all the um, single shotguns like snipers and Shiva and any guns like that will be very accurate and burst fire weapons would also be very accurate. So there's no point. I might do, I might do one of those in the future. And also, it's only going to be primary weapons, no secondary weapons simply because deal with it yeah i think because most people obviously use primary weapons so it'd be better to do the primary weapons and i might do the secondary weapons afterwards as well so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting from three different distances here here and here so there this doorway and that doorway so we're shooting from those three like distances this is close medium and long obviously to see which gun has the best accuracy over all the ranges now these bullets we've got to remember that we will not be counting because they are not um they are just always there constantly and then sector 1a sign is what we will be shooting at now the guns that we will be testing for the assault rifles are the kn44 the hvk30 icr1 and the mano war for smgs it's the cuda the vmp weevil vespa and razorback there'll only be one shotgun i'll do that at the end because it's just going to be a bit of fun because shotguns aren't that accurate for many rangers and lmg is the brm dingo and gorgon so let's get straight into this let's not waste any time and just go straight in with a kn44 let's do this All right, guys, so the KN-44 from close range, I'm just going to start shooting now. It will be uninterrupted with no aiming, like, for every single gun. So this gun is pretty accurate from close range. One bullet went out of the went out of the sign, so that's not that good. But, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the starting um, assault rifle that you get, so its accuracy is not going to be the best gun, really, is it? Even though it is good in multiplayer. As you get further away, about two... So that's one extra, maybe that one. So about two or three go out of the uh, go out of the sign. So let's go on to the last one right over here. So as you can see, the recoil now is not that good. It's just recoiled a lot of places. Barely any bullets hit the target. A lot went off. So from long range, this gun isn't that good. From close range, it's all right. If you're going to use it, try burst fire it like that just so then you have more accuracy. But now let's move on to the next gun, which I believe is the HVK-30. All right, guys, so now we've got the HVK-30, and we're literally just gonna go straight in, so let's see what it's like from close range. Okay, so that seems to recoil upwards a lot, so that's not bad, it's okay, but it recoils upwards quite a lot. Let's move on to the next range. All right, so we're now in range number two, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight in straight away again. We're just gonna shoot. His accuracy seems a little bit better that time. Barely barely any actually went out, so three went out from that range. That's not bad. This is actually a pretty accurate gun. Let's move on to the final range. All right, guys, we're all set up on the final range, and I'm not gonna press anything apart from the trigger, and I'm shooting, and bloody hell, it's left the room. That recoiled up so much that four bullets actually came out of the room. Long range, this gun in is not too desirable. Close range is very accurate. Medium range is very accurate. So we're just going to move on to the next one, which is the ICR-1. All right, guys, so now we're on the ICR-1. And this gun, when I've used it in multiplayer, seems to be pretty accurate. So let's try it from close range. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They are some compact bullets. That's about the size of a head. That's 30 bullets fired all at once, all hitting someone's scalp they'll definitely die let's move on to the medium range all right guys so we're here on the medium range and then we're just gonna shoot just shoot just shoot just shoot shooting all we can and still not one bullet has left the uh the sign so that's good from both ranges it's not missed a single bullet but that's about just a bit bigger than a head height i'd say that's just out of someone's skull so let's move on to the final long range so guys we are now ready on the final range this gun hasn't missed a single bullet yet but i think it's already missed one by the looks of it that is some pretty fast fire rate as well yeah it's missed one bullet maybe one and a half so it missed about one bullet out of 90 bullets from three different ranges that is actually very very good the icr if you're big on accuracy use this gun let's move on to the next one which is the man of war all right guys so the man of war has a slower fire rate of all the other assault rifles so i'm expecting some i'm expecting some pretty good accuracy from this so let's go 
Okay. All right, you can tell that the fire rate's a little bit slower and it's already missed a bullet. So the ICR with a faster fire rate didn't miss a single bullet until the long range. This on the close range with a slower fire rate has somehow already missed a bullet. That is not that good. Let's move on to medium range. Right, so now we're ready to just shoot at the sign again. Okay, yep, it's losing a lot of bullets there. It lost a lot of bullets. This gun has a lot of upwards recoil. You can see it recoils basically straight up. If you look at the line of best fit, it basically goes straight up. So, if you want to shoot at someone's dick and then start shooting up towards the head, use the Man of War. Let's move on to the long range. All right, guys, so now we have the long range test and we're just gonna shoot it straight away. Here we go. Fire, 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 fire. There we go. And nicely done. So one, two, three, four, five, six bullets went out of the square. These three all perfectly went along the bottom line. Um, what did I say? Six, seven, eight. Eight went out of the square. So this, it's um, it's not as good as I thought it would be. So I'd recommend maybe burst firing it again, like you did with the HVK-30. Let's move on to submachine guns. All right, guys, no messing about. We're just going to get straight into the SMGs. Now, with the SMGs, I'm not expecting as good accuracy. As you can tell, quite a few missed the target because us... us uh, assault rifles are actually meant for longer ranges, but, you know, submachine guns, they're meant for more close rushing tactics. So... Yeah, that, it's not that accurate from close range, the Cuda, even though it is my baby. I'm going to have to give my honest opinion on every single gun. And from close range, it's not that accurate. About a third of the bullets went out of the target, so let's move on to the next distance. All right, guys, so one thing I did forget to mention is that there can be no attachments whatsoever on the gun. One bullet hit the target. One bullet... 29 bullets went out of the target. One bullet hit the target. That is mad. That is actually mad. Let's move on to the long range. All right. So if um if the assault if one of the assault rifles actually came outside the room, the HVK30, I'm expecting this to do the same. Oh, it actually didn't. Okay, but it drifted quite a bit to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That one there doesn't count. So about six went on target there. So somehow it got more on target from longer range. I don't understand that. But let's move on to the VMP. All right, guys, so the VMP, I think um, from what I've used of it, it actually has quite a lot of recoil anyway, so let's see. Yeah, it goes up and then to the right. Oh, my God. From close range, one, two, three, four, five, six bullets hit. Look at it. It, like, it goes up like that, and then it goes back there, and then across there like that, and then up. Gosh, this is not that good. Let's move on to medium range. All right, guys, so here we are. We're just going to go... Brrr. I'm not pressing anything. I am... It came outside of the room from medium range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bullets came outside of the room. Oh my gosh. This gun does not have accuracy if you hold it down. Definitely get really close to people like this close maybe and just burst fire into them. So let's go on to the last distance. All right, guys. Now, the reason I'm trying to fly through these is because I've recorded this once before and it ended up as 24 minutes. And look at that. That accuracy is awful. Loads of bullets come outside. Loads of bullets go into the room outside of it. And two bullets hit the target. That is dreadful. That has some mad recoil. It's got a really fast fire rate. Look, but it's got some mad recoil. It goes to the right a lot, so let's move on to the next uh, SMG, which is the Weevil. Alright guys, so now we have the Weevil, which is basically the P90, I mean. If you guys remember Modern Warfare 3, the P90 looked very similar to this and had the exact same amount of bullets, but I believe that was an assault rifle then. And look, that recoils up a hell of a lot. That is ridiculous. I'd expect it to be much better than that, but it... Okay, mad. Right, um, medium range. Let's try it. Go. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to come outside the room like that? All right. I think it gets to a certain point and then it just kind of levels out. It's kind of... It gets to this point and then it just levels out. So let's go on to the long range. Look, barely any hit the target even. Let's... One... One or two hit the target. Let's move on to long range. All right, so now we have the final distance for the P90 wannabe or the Weevil as they have now called it. And about 20 bullets came outside and quite a few hit this doorway here and one hit the target that one don't count remember but that one hit the target that is ridiculous let's move on to the vespa which is a really good gun for killing people let's see how it does on the accuracy test though all right guys so the vespa is actually a really good gun but you know it's it's okay but i want to see how good its recoil is 
Okay, so it goes up. Oh, it dies some mad fire rate, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 bullets went out of the targets. That means with that fast fire rate from close range, 9 hit the target. That's not bad. That'd be enough to kill, like, definitely with this gun, because this gun is, like, always a three-shot kill I've used it and is really good. So let's move on to medium range. Right, so now we're just going to str fire straight away, just see what it's like. See... It doesn't give itself time to shoot outside. It ended up getting to the roof, so it was like maybe three shots away from coming outside. So, you know, it's not that accurate. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bullets hit the target. I'll class those two because they're practically in. So let's move on to the final range. All right, guys, so this is the final range from the drainage pipe. And then we're just going to shoot, shoot, shoot shoot and it still didn't even come outside so it's recoil ain't as bad as any of the other submachine guns so far that is better than i expected four bullets hit the target that's not bad let's move on to the razorback all right guys so i don't know if you guys remember but in the beta the uh razorback was actually really 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 good and it was also unlocked at like level 22 now it's unlocked at level 46 so yeah it's a little bit worse but this is not bad it's not as compact as guns like the ICR from last time, where literally all of the bullets were in that kind of a radius. But, like, only about five bullets straight off, or maybe seven. So that's not bad. This gun actually has pretty good recoil, like, pretty low recoil. So let's move on to medium range. Right, so from, um, from the ICR, one bullet out of the whole thing went off target. One bullet out of the whole thing went off target. From this... No bullet has gone off target yet. So this could be a contender for the ICR for the submachine gun slot as well. This is doing pretty well. Not one bullet has missed so far. This is the same as the ICR so far. Ooh, bars. Let's move on to the long range. So this is where the ICR missed its first bullet. And I'm comparing the rays back to the ICR because it's missed the exact same amount. I think this might be where it crumbles though. Yep, it's definitely crumbling. Uh, someone put some apples underneath this and then you've got some nice dessert. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hit the target. 24 went off target. That's a big jump from zero from this distance to 24 missing from that distance. That was a massive, massive jump. That's it for the submachine guns. Let's move on to the LMGs because I'm going to do the shotguns last. All right, so we are now moving on to LMGs. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to spray these for about six seconds each because that's about the average that it takes for all the other guns to shoot and you've got to take into account that they are lmgs now i don't think any of them will empty their mags in five seconds or did i say six seconds i'll go for five seconds so we're just going to shoot like this and i'll count in elephants so if that annoys any of you guys i'm sorry so one elephant two elephant three elephant four elephants five elephants there we go so that shot fifth um 40 bullets 41 bullets in the time and every single one of them went on target so 40 bullets that's around about the best um for all the other weapons so let's let's reload this and then we'll move on to the next range all right guys so we're now ready at the next range and we're just going to do the same again so one elephant two elephants three elephants four elephants five elephants so it shot a few more so i think i counted a little bit quicker that time but still no bullet has missed the target now, the reason I'm um, firing in certain amount of seconds is because otherwise it takes so long and some of the bullets start disappearing like they are now and you won't be able to see what it's doing and why is my gun jumping around? What? What the heck is it doing? What the heck was that doing? All right, let's move on to long range. So now this is the final range, guys, and we're going to just do the exact same again. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants. So it shot the same as last time, so I think the first time I might have counted a little bit quicker. And now you can see it's missed a lot more bullets. So medium range... This is the best range for this gun. Long range, don't really use it. Um, it's recoils kind of all over the place, really. Um, it's not as good as the ICR, which is still winning. So any of you guys who use the ICR, you've got a pretty accurate gun in your hands. Let's move on to the next LMG, which is the Dingo. All right, guys, so now we have the Dingo. And if you look on the side, it clearly says Dingo in white writing. So if you guys ever don't, if ever forget the name of this gun, just look on the left-hand side of the gun, and it tells you that's nice. So let's just straight up shoot it. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants. So this has some pretty fast fire rate and some pretty damn good accuracy as well. That's not as compact as the ICR. It's about as compact as the Razorback, maybe with just a few, like a bit of an extra radius, but that's not bad. It has a really fast fire rate and say it's that accurate from with that much fire rate, that's not that bad. 
So let's move on to the medium range. All right, guys. So now from medium range, we're going to see what the dingo is like. So now let's just go one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants. Okay, I think it missed two bullets. It missed two bullets out of almost 60. So 54 bullets and only two bullet missed with that fast fire rate from that range. It's not as good as the ICR still. The ICR still winning and it looks like it probably will do. But let's see if the Gorgon can beat it because this has already missed a few more bullets and it. So let's just move to long range. All right, guys. So now we're moving on to the final range and we're just going to do the exact same as we always do for LMGs. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant okay so the accuracy definitely started to decrease a little bit a lot of bullets went out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen nineteen bullets missed that time so the ici is still clearly winning so let's move on to the gorgon all right guys so now we have the gorgon the gorgon actually has um the lowest magazine size but also has a really slow fire rate so we're just gonna see what it's like and we're just gonna do the same again so one elephant two elephants three elephants four elephants five elephants okay so this doesn't get to shoot as many bullets but look at that that is very 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 compact i'm gonna shoot it just once more time just one more time look how compact all of the bullets are they went into two different spots this is a really good accuracy gun from really close range let's move on to medium range all right guys so now we're just gonna do the exact same again one elephant two elephant three elephant four elephant five elephant you guys are probably getting annoyed with me just saying elephant so many times, but this is actually proven to be better than the ICR. That is not that bad. Look at it. All of those bullets, apart from one, were just in a straight line. Well, this one kind of doesn't count, but they don't match the line of best fit. So let's move on to the long range. Right, so this gun is actually looking pretty promising to beat the ICR's um, record, because this hasn't missed one bullet yet either. So we're going to go right back to the drain, and then one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant... Five. Do you know what? I'm just going to finish off the whole mag just to see. And if it doesn't miss any, then that's amazing. That is amazing. Look at the recoil. The recoil literally must have done this bang, 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 bang. That's pretty cool. So you are shooting at people's ears, basically. You're going to shoot ear to ear. You'll have a smile from here to here when you shoot someone from ear to ear. Booyah. Let's move on to the final gun and have a bit of a laugh with the Haymaker shotgun. Let's do this. All right, guys, so the Haymaker shotgun is the only fully auto shotgun in the game. Now, from close range, I'm expecting it to be pretty good. Long range, it's not going to hit anything, and that is almost a guarantee. So let's just go straight away. Yep, yep. It drifts a little bit to the right, but to say one, two, three, four, four little shrapnel pellets went off with 16 shots that is actually pretty good for a shotgun to say it's going to be like a one or two shot kill all the time you're going to be you're going to be killing a lot of people with this i can tell you let's move on to medium range all right guys now i'm not expecting anything from this so we're just going to go straight on oh okay are the bullets even reaching the wall the bullets aren't even reaching the wall there's no point doing the long range but we're going to do it anyway so um it missed every single bullet so from medium range do not use a shotgun that's kind of self-explanatory because shotguns aren't made for that range unless you are playing in an online game where they somehow seem to get one shot kills from that kind of distance but let's move on to long range all right guys so this is just a bit of a laugh i can barely even see the sign with this so let's just go if this hits one then i'm gonna be happy for it but it didn't it, it... oh it did look, look look that one definitely counts that one definitely counts look Look how many it's just hit. It's just hit every single bullet right there. Oh, my goodness. This gun is beast from long range. Only joking, guys. That was obviously a joke. Calm down. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please press that like button and that subscribe button and go do the same to the rest of the Chappelle crew. Their names will be in the description down below. Also, go do the same to the people who are in the description as well. So, that will be Exogenizens and Phantom. So, go do that to them and they look like massive packets of paracetamol. Am I right, lads? So, I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye. By the way, the winner was the ICI, in case you guys were wondering. Goodbye.